In Korea, happy marking Buddha's birthday today, a national holiday in the country. It's a religious occasion and a time for self-reflection to some, a day to blow off some steam for others. Our Hwang Ojun reports on the meaning of Buddha's birthday and how Korea is celebrating it. Thousands of lanterns, each containing a written prayer, blanket Pungunsa Temple, located in the heart of Seoul. We like the atmosphere a lot. The Buddhist philosophy is also very attractive. I'm not a Buddhist, but I respect the beliefs. Every eighth day of the fourth month in the lunar calendar, Korea, along with other Asian countries, celebrates the birth of Siddhartha Gautama, the founder of Buddhism. First introduced to Korea more than 1,600 years ago, Buddhism has become a major religion in the country, with an estimated total of 10 million worshippers, or roughly 20 percent of the Korean population. The government designated the day as a public holiday in 1975. Since then, Buddha's birthday, also known as Hokkatanshinil in Korean, is celebrated by visiting nearby temples, giving an offering, or praying for wishes to come true, all while engaging in the Buddha bathing ceremony, which involves pouring water with a ladle over a statue of Buddha as a baby. And this year, many pray for the sake of not only their families, but also the country. Korea has been going through some rough times recently, so in light of Buddha's birthday, I prayed fervently, trying to reflect in light about Buddha's boundless love towards all beings, so that people in this country can respect and love one another more. This year, as part of the celebrations, Pungunsa Temple set up a temple culture booth welcoming foreign visitors to experience Korean Buddhism through various hands-on activities and educational programs. Right now, I feel very peaceful. I feel very good with my uh, lotus flower. And I think today I'm lucky, and then I can bring it back to USA, and I have lucky from Korea. Buddha's birthday is more than just a day off work or school. To many, especially with the election coming up on May 9th, Buddha's teaching to seek liberation from greed and avarice resonates deeper, transcending differences in religion and culture. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.